room. Like $70 a night. dry out all of our stuff. So we stayed in a hotel one night, um, did laundry, did a re resupply. Gatlinburg is a really fun town. There were other hikers there, so we hung out with them. We ended up taking a zero just because there was just too much to do. By the time we got into this town, we still have to arrange for a shuttle for the next day, and our stuff was still dry the next, or wet the next day, some of it, like our tarps and stuff we couldn't put in the dryer. So had to do that. Either case, uh, last night we ended up going out for Cinco de Mayo um, and just having a lot of fun. We were up pretty late, um, but we had this really sweet room and the Bearskin uh, Lodge. So it was a great time. Um, last night, uh, some people saw a bear. When we came out of the bar, I missed it, but luckily um, they got some of it on video. Uh, you can kind of see the silhouette of the bear. So awesome, haven't seen a bear at all yet and you see one in town, so that was kind of funny. Uh, anyway, yeah, it's like 8.30 in the morning, I'm about to shower, uh, finish packing up my stuff, and we have a shuttle coming at 10.30, uh, so we're going to grab some breakfast and get back on the mountain. Uh, today we're doing 10 miles, uh, going to end up in the Ice Water Spring Shelter, I believe. So I'll do another video later when we get back out on trail. Okay, so I'm freshly showered, and um, I have the uniform on ready to go back out there into the world. Um, I am finishing packing up. 
Here's my food bag. I've got this much food for the next six, seven days. Here is my clothing I'm trying to organize. So lots to do and gonna go get breakfast soon. I realized I didn't really um, go into detail about those women getting struck by lightning earlier. I was half sleeping when I made that first video. Um, I didn't see anybody get struck by lightning. I uh, heard about it uh, from some of the other hikers, but a woman apparently got struck through her foot, uh, through her shoe. She had a big hole in her shoe and her sock and second degree burns. Um, she is okay. Another woman got struck. I'm not really sure where, but either case, everybody ended up being fine. Um, but as always on the trail, people came together. Uh, people came back off of the mountain to go rescue these women, get them out of the rain, carry their packs for them. Um, they all huddled together in a shelter. Um, there were like 30 of them. They made hot cocoa. Everybody like helped everybody get out of their wet clothes and put on dry stuff. It was a pretty dire situation. Um, so that's the whole group that most of us have been traveling or seeing and uh, meeting up in town. Yeah, we hung out with that group last night at the brewery um, and they told us all about it. Uh, Sherpa was there. That's the guy that threw me the 40th birthday party on the trail um, and his wife. So we sat with them and then a bunch of the other hikers um, that we've been running into and hiking with. Um, but yeah, it's a big community out here. Everybody helps everybody and nobody expects anything in return and it's you feel like you have a family and it's just really safe and really nice to have that um so yeah everybody's okay everybody got out of the rain got away from that big storm it was really unexpected um so luckily nobody was hurt from people that want to know if I've been drinking. Um, no, I have not. I drank on my 40th birthday. I had a couple beers and a can of champagne to celebrate, um, but no, I, since then I have not drank anymore. I don't want to drink anymore. Um, yeah, it just, I felt like crap the day after I drank uh, <laughs> for my birthday and it's just for me kind of a waste of money and I'm losing weight on this trail and I feel great. Uh, don't want to screw that up. So, no, not drinking anymore. We can easily get on top of that.
just left camp. It's like noon. Um, it was freezing last night, probably like 20 degrees, 25 degrees. Um, and then it hailed this morning. Absolutely lovely. I'm wearing five layers of clothes right now and I'm still cold. Uh, we are trying to do, I think almost 13 miles today to Tri Corner Nav Shelter. Um, and we stayed at Ice Water Shelter last night. Ice Water Spring Shelter. I think that's what it was called. Anyway, uh, hopefully it clears up. It's a little sunny now, but um, yeah, I don't know. They were calling for rain, so we'll see. Hopefully not. So we're a couple of miles away from camp. Um, today's been really weird with the weather. Freezing cold, hailed, snowed, uh, didn't rain, but 30 to 40 mile an hour winds at the top. And then you go inside the mountain when you walk, you know, walk around, you walk inside and it's like the sun is blasting on you and you're warm. So all over the map with the weather today, which means all over the map with the outfits. Uh, so lots of stopping. Um, anyway, yeah, should be pretty easy terrain uh, from here on out um, until we get to camp and hopefully today we get in before dark because last night was ridiculous trying to set up in the dark. <laughs> 